What's going on, YouTube world? This is your guy, Seals the Man. Thank you for coming back. I'm going to bring y'all into my world real quick. I once had this conversation with my uncle. And, and it, for those who don't know, I have three uncles and I love them all. Real dope men. But anyway, I had a conversation with one of them and he's married. And I was just curious, man, because I, I, I remember how he used to be. You know, he's attractive. He got a lot going for himself. And he was a late bloomer when it came to marriage. He got married late compared to standard terms so i was just asking like really curious on on why he chose to marry his wife his current wife like what made him jump over that figurative broom like, i just want to know his mindset on what made him do it and as i was asking him questions i asked him what questions did you ask yourself in order to validate that what you were feeling was something real and his answers were pretty interesting but very informative and I'm gonna tell y'all some of these questions and their answers in this video. But before I start, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, do all those great and amazing things for your guy, your brother, Seals the Man. And in return, I'm gonna continue to give y'all great, dope content about understanding the mind of decent and good men for the time to come, all right? So let's talk about the first thing. I asked him, like, yo, what made you do it? You got money, you got a nice house. And I remember you used to get the girls easily. <laughs> and he told me, the first question he asked himself was, did he need her or did he just want her? That's a big question that deserves a bigger answer. And he said, once he figured out and once he answered to himself that, nah, I need her. Like, I don't just want her. You see, there are a lot of serial daters out there. People who just date, people who don't want a serious thing or a long-term relationship. They want the person because they want that person to fill their temporary needs or to fill a void that they may have at that moment, a rebound even. But those things are only there for those moments and they will go away at some point. There's no type of longevity in those wants, those desires. So you'll see dudes go out there who just date or they'll go to the bars just to meet a woman, just to feel something temporary. But when you start to need someone, when they start to become a necessity in your life and in your ecosystem, that's when you know things are serious. Just as much as you need food, just as much as you need love, when it becomes a real need, you know you cannot get rid of that thing. Now you know that this thing that I need is no longer a temporary desire. It is a necessity to my life, right? And that's the vibes he was giving me when he was answering this question. He said, nephew, when I started to desire her presence every single day, when I needed to talk to her almost every single day, when I was comfortable in telling her my secrets and the things I'm vulnerable with and trusted that she would keep that and even help me with it, that is when I knew she was a need and not a want. So when a serious man is serious about you and making this a forever thing, a long relationship or marriage or union, this is a question he may ask himself. Do I just want you or do I truly and genuinely need you? All right, so let's go to the next thing we talked about. I asked him, what question did you ask yourself before finally doing it, committing to this? He told me, and this was funny. He asked himself, am I really ready to hang up my jersey? Am I really ready to retire and put my jersey in the rafters to no longer be worn again my uncle's really open so he, he was really saying these things and i love it because i love transparency right so after i started laughing i started to think about it that's a tough question for a lot of men because it's fun to be able to have all these options it's fun to know that you still got it especially with men with ego and pride to know that you still got it that you still look good that you are still wanted and desired feels amazing but can you truly do that forever do you truly want to do that forever is that good for you because at the end of the day you might end up being a very lonely man if you continue on that path of just wanting to be desired and wanted and sought after right because there is nothing stable about that because people are going to go on with their lives those same women that like you are going to move on from you eventually because they're going to find their own life or their own man their own love so once again it's temporary so he said, yo, once I realized I was done playing, I was done dating or I was done going after women and that I was truly invested in this one beautiful queen that I have, I knew I was ready to put up that jersey. And that is AKA commitment. So I asked him like, yo, these are really good. Give me another question that you asked yourself before saying I do and committing to your wife. And this was a more inward question. And he asked himself, do I fulfill everything she looks for in an ideal man? Now that's something that a man has to face himself. He has to put everything aside. He has to strip naked and look inward in himself and say, do I fill her cup? Do I fulfill the things that she's looking for in a man, in a husband, in a father, in a partner, 
and a lover? And if I don't, am I making the conceited effort to get better, to become that? Am I taking the time out to learn her needs? What can I do for her and what can I do for us? Am I fulfilling these things? And he said at the time he didn't, <laughs> no one's perfect. But he said he was willing to make the effort to dedicate himself and time to become better for her in order to become a husband to her. And I found that a really profound because a lot of people out here get married and they know they're not ready to get married. They get married for other reasons or even selfish reasons. Men will propose to women knowing that they cannot provide them anything. And then you'll have men out there who propose to women just to lock her down so that another man does not get her. Are you proposing to this woman for selfish reasons? This question that he asked himself is loaded because it shows his true intentions on marrying or why he's marrying her. Another question that he asked himself is, can I see myself with this woman forever? I'm t forever. There's no jumping out the plane with this. This won't be easy. We know this is it. You can't just like someone that you want to be with forever you need to love them you need to need them once again this is not a temporary thing this is a forever thing there's a different mentality there's a different energy there's a different set of actions and processes that you take when you want something forever and in looking and seeing if if you want to be with someone forever you have to learn their traits you not only have to learn what they're good at or the good things about them but what they're bad at or the things they need improvement on. No one's perfect. So we're going to take that same attitude and evaluate. And if this person is someone you can be with forever. Now, this is not a game. Now the little things are big things and you're getting it to the meat of the person that you are thinking about being with forever. And he said, once I realized that I could see myself with her forever, I moved on to the next question that I asked myself. And I'm telling you, I was here writing notes like, okay, <laughs> this is interesting. He asked himself, does she accept me? for who I am, my good things and my bad things, my good traits and my bad traits, my strengths and my weaknesses, my flaws and all. Does she accept my package? This is something I would love for a lot of men to think about when it comes to thinking about before proposing to a woman, because a lot of men out there will propose to a woman not thinking about her, but just thinking about himself. Are you as the man good for her? Because I've heard a lot of stories where there were women who are married who accepted the proposal because they did not want to embarrass him. They didn't want to break his heart, but they knew they were not ready to get married to this person yet. I've heard stories like this, but like I said earlier, there's a lot of men out there who will propose for selfish reasons, knowing that she does not accept him, especially his flaws. So I asked them like, yo, how, but how did you know she accepted you? How did you know that she uh, accepted your weaknesses or things you could work on or need improvement on? And he said, she stuck with me when I messed up. When I said or did something that she did not like, she stayed, she stuck with me, but she did not just accept those things. She talked to me. She communicated to me. She told me that she does not like those things and that I can improve on certain things. There was healthy communication. She was not playing the blame game, but she was giving advice, suggestions through love, with love. And I said, ah, that's a good point. She wasn't pointing fingers, but she was letting you know, hey, you need to work on these things if you expect me to marry you. And I love that because this is not a one-way street. This is a two-way street. He is not just marrying you. You are marrying him as well. So, man, I loved this conversation with my uncle. It inspired me to make this video because I truly feel like this will help a lot of women out there as well. But especially men out there who are thinking about marrying or getting married because it inspired me to think on some things as well. My uncle's cool, man. So thank you all for watching my video. I hope this video was able to help you in some way. Or if you feel like this video will help someone else, send them this, all right? Enjoy your day. Peace and blessings. See you next time. Goodbye.